So um, I've put the brackets, apply the brackets to the frame. I did end up having to pre-drill the holes uh, for the screws because this wood was harder than I expected. Drywall may not be um, quite as hard, um, but obviously you want to make it as easy as possible to put, put the screws in, 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 in the correct spot. So the next step is to apply the light blocking strip. You should have received a good chunk with plenty of strip. Um, you're going to cut six pieces of strip. So here I've already cut the pieces and I've put the bottom part in. So it's from the edge to the bracket and then from the other side of the bracket to the next bracket and then from the edge of that bracket to the, the frame on the side. This is going to help any light underneath the rail. Um, it will block the light underneath the rail and it may do a little weatherization as well um, to the, the shade and the opening. So now that I have the bottom strip supplied, make sure you don't remove the, the backing until you're ready to actually apply it to the opening. And you, when I cut this, I actually held the piece of strip to the opening and cut it like this. If, since you're going to be on a ladder near the ceiling, you may want to measure those spaces and then cut it that way um, so that you, you can be doing it confidently. Um, so basically you're going to remove the backing from the strip, which is a talent all its own. And you're going to apply it fairly close to the front to the front of the bracket. And I'm going to do both sides. Centerpiece. There we go. So our light blocking strip is now in. The next portion of our installation is going to be using the lubricant or grease. And we're going to apply some of this to the ribs only. Now depending on the height of your shade, they may have sent you two packets of grease. Um, if you have a shade about this width, you may have some left over. So you don't have you don't want it to get on the fabric of the shade. So don't go too overboard initially. Remember, you can always add more if you don't have enough on there. Um, and certainly if you don't feel that you have enough overall, give us a call and we'll send you another tube. It's really going to help the shade run into in the opening smoothly. And that's it for right now for the, the grease. All right, for the next step, we're going to be putting the guide plugs into the retainer track. Um, what we did before was we put some grease in the, the roof of the retainer track. Now our instructions is telling us to just put some in the guide, on the guide plugs to help them ride smooth as well. Just be careful not to get any of this on the fabric. All right. So you should have you should unwrap your shade. Do not cut any strings when you're unwrapping it. Um, you you can cut the rubber bands that are holding the strings, but just be careful not to cut the strings themselves as they really determine the length of the shade. So we are now going to put the retainer tracks 
the, I'm sorry, the guide plugs into the retainer tracks. Now, the back portion of the guide plug is what is going to fit into the retainer track. And so you can kind of hear it snapping into the retainer track. So now that that middle rail is kind of attached, we can apply the top rail to the brackets. You're going to slide the front of the rail into the front of the bracket. The same on this side. And then once the, the spring-loaded front is pushed in, the back should snap onto the back. So now our top and middle rail are connected to the opening. So at this point we're going to put the bottom rail on as well. So you may have to pull the middle rail down in order to get this string to be give you enough slack to have the rail meet the brackets. And here is the moment of truth. Snap the front into the front of the bracket and the back should snap on. Now, now all rails should be attached. The middle rail should be sliding and let's see. So we just want to make sure that the whole thing seems to be fairly level. It seems to be. Um, if you need, this is the time now, if you need to adjust any of the bra bracket placement to do so. But to me it looks fairly even. We don't have a lot of play. So here we are. We're going to test the shade up and down. Not bad. So the next step is to tension the strings on the shade. So you want to move this middle rail all the way up to the top so that the fabric is stacked tightly. And depending on the length and how you receive the shade, these strings may be a little loose. These tensioning bolts down here is how you control this string. So with this stacked all the way to the top, we're just going to turn these with the flathead screwdriver, turn these bolts clockwise to tighten. And this will take the string up inside the mechanism here and tighten it up. This is you want them to be taut but not tight. These are pretty good. So I'm going to ride the shade up and down a couple times. Just make sure everything's level. Now, this is where the final adjustment will come in. You may find that if these strings are not tightened evenly that your rail on the bottom, the two rails, will not meet together properly. So there may be a gap here or here. So this is actually fairly good, but you want to adjust so that the strings are even on either side. So if one side seems to be more taut than the other, tighten that one more, um, but that will make your shade run evenly. Now, so that's at this point, check your guide plugs, make sure that there's not a lot of grease. Um, this one looks fine, so we should be fine. Um, but your shade should be installed. The, at this point, if you're having any problems, in our installation instructions we have a troubleshooting section. Most of it revolves around the tension bolts. If these tension bolts are not holding the tension, there is a nut on the back that you can adjust. Generally from the factory they come tightened properly, but they may loosen over time or with shipping. Um, if the middle rail is difficult to remove, check see if you have enough lubrication. Make sure the guide plugs are inserted into the track properly. Um, and make sure that there are no screws interfering with the retainer track or the plugs. Um, but most of it is going to be in, in adjusting your tension. 
if your shades are out of reach, you may want you may have bought a, an operating pole or want to purchase one after the fact. Um, and it would basically be a hook that holds onto this bottom rail. And otherwise, if, you, this, if, if there's any light gaps that you want to bridge, you may want to do some caulking, um, or there may be some leftover foam strip that you can tuck in behind. But that's about it. Um, as far as maintenance for the shade, uh, doing a feather dusting, a vacuuming. Obviously, if they're on the ceiling, they shouldn't be catching a lot of dust on the front because they should. The, the this side should be facing in. Um, but you, at this point, your shade should last for years to come and, and enjoy. <laughs>